imagine the government trying to take your kids away because you gave them Tylenol. Hello everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and this is not a happy story. This is one I came across a couple days ago here uh, that came out of New Hampshire. And basically, again, I'll try to link the description in the description below here so you can read the full story if you want. But a guy in the great state of New Hampshire, uh, him and his family got coronavirus. They treated it with ivermectin because God bless America and you can do whatever you want. And uh, they went to the doctor because he was concerned that his kid had overdosed on acetaminophen, which is his Tylenol, it's the active ingredient in Tylenol. Uh, so he had called poison control, they told him to go to the doctor, he did. While he was there, he was talking to the doctor that, you know, they had had COVID, they treated with ivermectin and, you know, everything is all better now. And some do-gooder, little informant rat nurse decided that it wasn't right that this guy treated his family with ivermectin. And that's probably why his kid almost overdosed on, on acetaminophen. And she called the Child Protective Services on him in order that they would show up at his house which they did with the police to try to take his kids away. Now, very fortunately, this guy had already sent his kids away, and so they weren't there when the police came there to confiscate his children. He, they weren't there, and now he's been in some court legal battles and had to go to court uh, in order to let the government say, it's okay, you can keep your kids. All because some crazy little rat nurse and I can't stress this enough, who is a terrible person, thought that they would rat this person out for the crime of treating their kids with drugs because they're sick. Now, if that, again, doesn't make you like super mad and angry, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, we live in a time where unreasonable people are running and ruling things. And, and it's not just like they do things that we don't agree with. It's that reason has left the building. Uh, the kids are obviously fine, right? They're obviously being cared for. This guy is obviously loving and caring for his family well. He's just not doing it the way that you've been told you should do it. And so therefore, he is a threat to the state and the order of things, and so they don't like that, and so they get mad. And so they do things like send the police to your house to take your kids away. If you ever get coronavirus, uh, never tell anybody because that's not a good thing. Because again, the police might show up to take your kids away just because, apparently, because they think they have that authority. Again, we live in this time where there are many, many local tyrants and many little rat dirty informants who should be tarred and feathered. Uh, that's the time we live in. And they're looking to ruin your life because you do something that they don't agree with. The live and let live idea of America is not the one that we are living under right now. It's not the idea that, that reigns supreme. Uh, but rather, the idea of liberty is seen as something that's dangerous and subversive, and you just wait for it, unpatriotic. Think about that. Decide what kind of America you want to live in and stop complying with the nonsense. Two brave deeds and endure.